go for it. All right. These are the poems in English translation. I myself have translated these poems with the help of someone else, actually, my friend, an Arab American activist, who helped me a great deal. You know. And when it comes to the task of translation, to invoke Walter Benjamin, I'm always haunted by the specter of the Italian adage. The translator is a traitor. But Salman Rushdie, I talked about him here actually, in his characteristically witty mood, consoles the translator by quipping, if something is lost in translation, something is also gained in translation. Yet frankly, I don't know if I've gained anything in the translations that I'll be sharing with you. I mean, translations of, you know, some poems from Iraq, contemporary Iraq, you know, and the poets here are all young. And let's see. And I dedicate, it, I dedicate these translations to you all. Poems from Iraq. The first one is called Removal, and it is by Sharko Faik, a young Iraqi poet. If the rod my poetry of the flower, one of my four seasons will die. If the rod my poetry of the presence of my love, two of those seasons will die. If the rod my poetry of bread, three of them will die. But if the rod my poetry of freedom, my entire year will die, and I myself will die. The second one in this series is called Portrait, again by the same poet, Sharko Faik. Together, they were drawing the picture of a man, four children, a Turk, a Persian, an Arab, and a Kurd. The first child drew the man's head. The second one drew his hands and his shoulder. The third drew his legs and his torso, and the fourth child drew a gun on his shoulder. This one is called Now and Then. And the poet is Yusuf al Sayyid, a contemporary young Iraqi poet. The nightmare tonight, the nightmare tonight was very dense, believe me. A dining table, a bottle of wine, three glasses, and three men without heads. And the last one in this series is called Good Morning Fakani. And this is by a great young Iraqi poet, Sadi Yusuf, one of my most favorite poets from Iraq, I would say. And for me, this poem interestingly echoes this great African-American poet Langston Hughes. I talked about his poetry earlier in, in this class, though. So the poem is called Good Morning, Fakhan. Good morning. Good morning to roads and rifles. Good morning to colored berets and the sunlight pouring generously on them. Good morning to you, the headquarters guard, to nocturnal guns and nocturnal secrets, to the beautiful fatigue glistening in your dark eyes. Good morning to children in their uniforms. Good morning to Ummenabil. Smile, smile. Good morning to Awali's coffee house. Good morning to you who yearn with guns for the rolling of jet planes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to janitors and garbage workers, to the radio announcer, to the young men tired of hectic metaphors and sterile debates to the accumulated silence of Toledo, to the young men who handed me a copy of a new radical views weekly twice, to the students passing their exams in cafes. Good morning, good morning, good morning to revolutions erupting like fires and volcanoes in the very first draft of a manifesto. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to the revolutionary in my heart. Good morning. Good morning to my love, oh my love, good morning, good morning, good morning.
we're going to stop that.